Red. He's a rock and roll, homie. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Awesome. What's up, guys? It's an honor to have you here, but more importantly, it's an honor to have my friend Jonathan here today. Welcome to the first episode ever of this podcast. So far, we're going to call it, you know, the um, jazzy relationship show or, you know, like the jazzy talk. And uh, it's extremely honored to have Jonathan on the podcast today. We're going to talk about relationship and, but most importantly, talking about him. This man, this legend himself, and talking about leadership. So why don't you just give us a little bit of short introduction? Oh man, short introduction. I don't think there's just such a thing in my life. Uh, sure. Anything you want. <laughs> anything you want. So, my name's John Pfeiffer. I'm a photographer and videographer. I live in Los Angeles, California, and I have a vision for a new kind of world. And it's, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. I'm actually starting my own YouTube channel, which I will plug here shamelessly. Of course. Because on Jazzy Talk, there is no shame. <laughs> We're all here for love. I actually, a matter of fact, now just to bring it up, right, just for the fun, um, it's about 12.30 a.m. We'll turn into 1 a.m. on a Wednesday morning, and we're doing this for the love. Yes. For, our, for you guys. But anyway, um, tell us a little bit about your vision. What do you want? Ah, so basically, I want the world to become a place where people don't have to be ashamed of who they are or feel bad about themselves and feel put down or like they can't do things. I want to inspire people to achieve greatness and to chase their dreams and to be better. Yeah, absolutely. I can extremely like relate with you on that because as for someone, they moved here from Beijing, China, and um, been for the past four and a half years all by myself. And then when I first came here, I thought, I never thought about, I never even think about, I thought I was just come here and study and grow and just probably play a lot. I never thought about, okay, people are gonna put you down and the society gonna tell you what are the right thing to do, or what are the wrong thing to do, and they make the whole world so black and white. Yeah. It's like, almost like, you're either, it's like, you're like, let's say either, either you're working or you're fucking unemployed. Like, the, the super polarity, it's just insane. Like, you're either good or evil in the Hollywood movies. And that's constantly in your mind over and over again. So you have all those kind of ideas that it's not yours and it's not who you are. But we person people, like, we live off it, which is just pretty insane. Yeah. Just thinking about that. Yeah, it's like, just insane how much like these ideas that started out as small simple things like just take over your life and yeah like then next thing you know you're out there hating everything in the world yeah and you know that's not that's not who we are you know we're way way more than that yeah so you had a hero in you most important you are made out of love. A lot of, I didn't really realize that maybe until this past weekend, but um, we will, through every single podcast, we'll make sure, you know, it's a journey to follow us, you know, follow me and my friends, my dear friends. We're here to bring love, to spread the love, and then you will gradually discover that you, I, him, we're all made out of love, and that's who you are, so don't forget that. But anyway, so what is your biggest, you know, kind of the, struggle you have, the way that you kind of came out from, you know, over this weekend? Oh, you mean now that I'm out, like adapting, or? Like you're just like, the breakthrough. The biggest breakthrough. You had over the weekend. Well, the, the biggest breakthrough for me was yeah. that I was afraid to show up because I didn't believe in myself. I had been pushed down and bullied and been told so many times, you can't do this, you can't do that or made fun of for being authentic and you know it, it, it got to a point where I started to believe those things and uh, this weekend I discovered that everything every, like, all that stuff was just a bunch of nonsense I am amazing just the way that I am and I can do whatever I want as long as I put my mind to it 
and if I commit and I follow through with it, it's gonna happen. So, yeah, I mean, I'd say this weekend I learned, you know, I got my wings back. I, could, I learned to soar again and I feel great and I'm ready to hit the ground running and just do whatever it takes. Absolutely, do whatever it takes and really, truly, this sounds kind of cliche, but really believing in yourself is the best thing you could do. Yeah. It really is. And uh, just a little bit quick, short background story that me and Jonathan, we've been through this wonderful, amazing, and extremely fucking intense um, transformation training. It was. So intense. Like <laughs> 60, 60 hours in five days, intense. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, and the yeah, the room for people full of love. And then <clears throat> the most creative thing for me is that how we came in that all like, you know, like we came in and forgot who we are. And then for me, my way to put it is that I, it's like the simple way to put it is I found my heart, but it's like what well, my heart was put away in a box. And then on top of that, six inches deep of dirt, you know, the bullshit. And, I put it on myself, other people put it on me, that a lot of other people put it on me. So I gotta deep, deep, deep yeah. through all the things, an old written box and put it back here. Put it right here. Yeah, you gotta unbury all that. I remember that feeling. Yeah. I mean, I had been like I had so many layers to to me that were just <clears throat> preventing me from reaching my full potential. And they're all situations that I made up in my head. It was the biggest one. Was, what was the biggest one? The biggest one was that I'm not good enough. Yeah. And that's the biggest illusion of all because we're all good enough. Like, <laughs> the only person limiting me is you. The only person limiting me was me. And now that I know that, I realize there are no limits. <laughs> I mean, you can literally do anything. That's really powerful. Yeah. Because, so just want to, uh, from my takeaway, just even for the people you look up to, you know, for them, your mentor, teacher, and most importantly, our parents, they will tell us what they behave at us in certain ways that make us feel not, we're not good enough. Or, for example, your mentor or teacher or professor told you, like your friends, your best friend, buddy, that grew up, fucking grew up together, tell you, oh, like, I don't think you can do it when you are taking on the business. I don't think the project is gonna work. But guess what? They are not you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, when I moved to LA, I had, I was going around telling all my friends and 95% of them were saying, don't move to LA. You're not gonna make it in LA. Like, don't go out there. And you know, I had like maybe one or two people that was like, well, I mean, if that's what you want to do. But not one of them told me, oh, that's great. Yeah, man, you're going to do great. You're going to you're gonna do it. Like all of them were just like, yeah, well, you know, if you want to or no, you're going to fail and you're going to fall on your face and fail and be miserable. And it's, I mean, you have to learn to believe in yourself and you have to learn to support the people around you. I mean, because that's, that's what we're here for. We're basically, we're here to create and to create things that we're passionate about. And when you're passionate about something, you have no choice but to just go all in with it. Just do it. Because if you don't, then what are you doing? You're doing nothing. Yeah. It really got me thinking. I mean, like, you know, my cow for a second. So what... So for you, or you know, for the audience in front of the camera, or like behind the camera, just right now, just watching this, from any podcast or YouTube, whatever form, what do you think the biggest takeaway that right now you feel? Okay, number one trait of of leadership. Leadership. Yeah. Uh, knowing when to, when to trust the people under you to do their job, and you know that they're going to. Uh, step up because to be honest we all have the ability to lead uh, but a true leader knows when it's time to step back and and not lead <laughs> yeah. like 
the reason we get into so many you know, tricky situations is when leaders can't admit they're wrong uh, and they can't admit that they don't know something and they get an ego and they start steering the ship in just a totally wrong direction. And so I'd say, you know, to be a good leader, you have to know when to step back and let someone else lead. Yeah, that, that really goes along with me. Like, one exercise we did, I was a leader, and then the next day, someone brought it up, just like, hey, Jazzy, maybe like someone else will become a leader. And that's when the time my kind of like, my resistance rate come up, it's like, because I always wanted to be in control. And I was like, no, why? I mean, my mind was like, no, why do you do that? Like, I'm the leader. Like, I know LA best. I, th I thought so. I know LA best. But then turn, take a step back because I chill. Like, hey, hold on. Like, why am why I'm thinking like this? And then, and, and then my brain was going to the, the, like the old kind of weight because I know the best. I'm here for the best people. But... But actually, then when I, I talked to them, and then and so I decided to give other people opportunity to shine and take more responsibility because I was so selfish that I was only thinking about myself. But this weekend, one of my biggest takeaways it sounds so simple, but it's like it's not for me. A lot, a ton, like so many times, it's not for me. You can't be thinking about for you all the time. And the more I was thinking about for me, and the less I get for myself too. Yeah. And it, which is just mind blowing for me. That's my one of my biggest takeaways. But anyway, when I took a step back, let my friend to take more responsibility and he did really well. But also I was happy to be part of the team and being extremely supportive. Yeah. And that that was really go along with what you said. I'm grateful, I'm grateful. It's a blessing to have you here on the podcast as the first episode. The same for our audience. Yeah, it's great to be here. Yeah. Thanks for having me as your uh, as your uh, first interview. <laughs> so I'm excited, yeah. And also one of my takeaways just after the training, I just don't you feel just lighter? Oh yeah, I feel <laughs> I feel liberated. Like, liberated. I could that literally so fly out the window yeah. right now. Yeah. <laughs> The pool right there, by the way. You can't, just, you know, you can't, you can't see it, but there's a window. There, yeah, there is a window. It's over there. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't really feel like jumping through it right now because it doesn't open. It doesn't look like it opens, so I'd have to like shatter through it. And I don't feel like picking up glass. So. Yeah, well, we'll say, we'll say that far for Jonathan when we hit um, 100,000 100, views for this episode. Yeah. Which is, which we, is it's gonna happen. So when we hit 100,000 views, yeah. I have to jump through glass. Is that yeah. what happens? Yeah, <laughs> make sure we buy six figure uh, life insurance beforehand. <laughs> All right. Uh, you know, like, uh, I'll, have to get, uh, I'll have to get health insurance, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good, that's so funny. Um, so, shifting a little bit topic from leadership to another extremely important area of our life personally I've been through struggle I've been struggling with it for years and um, recently I was blessing met this wonderful girl woman in my life and I made some awful mistakes because of my insecurity because of because of pretty much yeah it was all me my responsibility that I'm going to take I have been taking I'm taking it right now that's one reason I'm doing this podcast to share my lesson my friends lesson spread the love to um, end the relationship trap that people are insecure and hurting each other one another yeah. because that is not love that is fear because insecurity my for my example my insecurity was I didn't think I was good enough part of it which is that I feel that's essentially what everybody feels in this world yeah. and another part is that um Scarcity. I just fear. I was afraid of the love and connection. I lost it, so I went to seek someone else. I was just awful because when you're in that unstable kind of state of mind, your IQ and EQ, especially IQ, will actually get lower, which is um, ridiculous, but that's a fact. Yeah, I mean, you when you're living from a place of like fear and survival, you're not thinking about best necessarily possibility you're just thinking about ultimatums and 
if not this, then this, instead of coming to a mutual agreement or instead of, you know, actually sitting and working, like thinking about what is causing this, you're just reacting and you're not creating solutions, you're just creating more problems. Yeah, and, and I know that you've been in a relationship for, for a decent period of time. Um, yeah, for two years. Yeah, with your girlfriend. So what do you, what are some, you know, one, two, three tips, or you know, just one or two tips, in terms of communication that can, you know, throw out there for our audience? So basically, when it comes to communication, right. I would say... I want to know too much. Yeah, just yeah. be honest. I mean, be open. Because if you, I mean, if you you can't be honest about everything, then you're probably not in the right relationship. And I have to take responsibility for my part because I've created some situations in my relationship that obviously aren't ideal. And I own that. And that was due to my own insecurities had my own failings and had nothing to do with my partner, but I was putting it on my partner, blaming it on my partner, because I didn't want to admit that it was me. And we all do this. Um, you know, it's like, oh no, I'm perfect, I'm perfect, I do no, I can do no wrong, you're the one who's wrong. Um, oh, people trying to be right. Yeah, everybody Crazy. wants to be right, nobody wants to be wrong. And so, being able to admit that you're wrong is like like the, the number one saving factor in a relationship is just being able to say I'm sorry I was wrong I messed up that's my bad or I I'm I'm super insecure right now I'm sorry it has nothing to do with you I've got my own bullshit to deal with but I'm not gonna put it on you um, number two, I would say, is, you know, just, like, don't have expectations. I mean, love is unconditional. You, you can either accept someone for who they are or you can't. And if you can't, then what are you doing? Like, why are you wasting your time? It's as simple as that. Either you accept me for who I am or you don't. And if you don't, then it's time to move on. You know? And uh, forgiveness. You have to forgive. If you harbor resentment, then it's never, ever going to work. If you're the kind of person who just can't let things go, like if, then it's never going to work. You need to learn to forgive before you can actually have a relationship because if you can't forgive then there's no point in you even having one. And like I wasn't willing to forgive myself for past relationships and those relationships were affecting this relationship. And like once I learned to forgive all that stuff and realize that you know I'm okay it's okay to not be perfect and it's okay that girls cheated on me because that had nothing to do with me. That was their problem. You know? Their insecurity probably get them from their ex-boyfriend or yeah. their parents or family. Like that's something that they learned from someone else and brought into the relationship that I was in with them. Yeah. That has nothing to do with me as a person, so I don't have to take it personally. You know? It's like it, that is and that is really kind of And you do, it's not even like like uh, romantic relationships, just like relations with your parents. Yeah. Like if, you, if you're not getting along with your dad or your mom, you know, just know that whatever they're, you're disagreeing with or whatever they're upset with you for is nothing personal. It's something, it's a belief system that they created for themselves to avoid feeling uncomfortable. So... It's like when we learn to stop taking things personally and realize that they're lashing out because of their own dramas, then you can step back and just be calm 
and not argue because arguing is just going to feed the fire. Like, yeah, just have to sit there and listen and be supportive and be like, all right, I get it. I'm sorry, you know. I'm not perfect, but I can do better next time. Yeah. And they can either accept that or not, and that's on them. I think. You've done your part. You know? Yeah, that's hard. And kind of just a few points going on what you said that um, first is that, you know, when we come to when in a relationship, when we getting insecure and self-defensive, and we turn to hurt the people we care about the most, which is, you know, in romantic relationship with our partner, which is, that is just so crazy and fucking painful for myself being in this situation, for to see other people in this situation, and which is just, your partner, deserve to be treated better because why the fuck you are taking the pain that you experienced before from previous, exactly what John said, from previous, previous relationship taking into double up or you know on yourself and your partner that is just irresponsible. Yeah, and I mean because we have to take accountability Absolutely. for not only ourselves, but every word and action that we say to other people. Yeah. So, if I say, "Hey, Jazzy," I, I don't. I hate you. I think. I think you should die. Now he's. Now I have created a situation in Jazzy's life that he's dealing with because I was not emotionally stable enough to keep my mouth shut or to bring that into his life. So now I have to take responsibility for that. Yeah. And obviously I think you're awesome and I don't give a shot. But, <laughs> but it's not yet. But, but like in a Mars relationship. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like in a relationship you have to take responsibility for every word that you say. Yeah. Like everything committed to it, mean it, especially as a man. Yeah. Yeah. And ladies is simple. Same, same to right? Yeah. yeah, I mean, a relationship should be to be there to pick each other up. Yes. If you're constantly putting each other down, and pulling each other down, and arguing over who's right and who's wrong, then nobody's getting anywhere. You're both yeah. just sitting in the mud. You know, you have to. Somebody has to take responsibility for their their half, because when one person does it, then the other person is more open to doing it and being like, yeah, I did some things too. Yeah, it really is. So just being able to open and take responsibility for your half of the bullshit, you know, that's a that's a huge step. Yeah, because when your partner really truly cares about you and love you, and then when she see or him sees you doing it, you know, you are like taking more responsibility, getting more mature in my case. And mostly that she would join too she'll be like oh my god like you know because she just you guys are just together i always remember it's as a team yeah don't be selfish don't be like i want this i want this i want to be this way i want her back to me blah 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 it's not about you this relationship is a team just like you can't high five on your fucking life. it's gonna be high five with other people it's not a way to do it and then create a harmony between your your partner and another really important thing that what you said go really resonate with me also with the training is that you gotta let go which is forgive yeah. and we through training we know this when you are let go when you forgive and you take your really power take your power back and gain your energy back that you used to spend all this kind of bullshit hating each other <laughs> blaming yourself and you know questioning doubt yourself and uh, don't believe in yourself when you take that back when you fucking own that you are have so you have so much more power you have so much more energy you have all the capacity to love to care to really care about your partner to really for example you might has really care about my girlfriend and i don't even of course, still, I care about her so much. I want she is going to, you know, like appreciate me and love me back. And but I'm just, I'm just so happy to just care about her. Yeah. And before the training, I never really thought about that because I used to be so selfish. And 
yeah, like don't really make it about yourself. Forgive first, go along with that. Like really forgive first. So you will gain your power back, you gain your energy back, you become who you are, and then give it all. Don't hold back because we learned this. Like if when you hold back, not only you are like cheating yourself, but you're cheating on your friends, cheating on your family, cheating on your in this case in our podcast case, cheating on your romantic partner. Because you are not being yourself, you're not being congruent, and which is you're being a fucking sellout. Just don't do it, please. For yourself, for your happiness, for your romantic partner, don't do it. Man. Just live in authenticity. Like don't don't be afraid to say something because you think it's gonna hurt someone's feelings or you know, like if 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 you genuinely feel it then you have to say it. I mean but also you must distinguish between what you're feeling and what your ego is saying. Because a lot of people say, yeah. oh, well, I think this, therefore I feel it. But, but As your, ego, your, your, brain, your brain doesn't know what the hell is going on. Like brain design protects you to survive, to go, to avoid all those pain. Yeah. Avoid all those airy negative emotions, which is crazy. Yeah, you're, you, you, every situation, your brain just throws out random thoughts. Yeah. And you have the choice like so, like, to pick one. Like it's like that scene in the Matrix where Neo meets the architect and he has all the TV screens all over the room. Yeah. Those are all of his thoughts. And you can see they all get all mad and crazy and he's like, What are you talking about? You you don't know what you're talking about. And then there's one that's just super quiet and centered and rational. And then it zooms in on that and then he's in that thought. Yeah, you have to learn to 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 center your your mind and filter your thoughts and not just act on autopilot and just lash out at people because when you lash out at people you're accountable for that like you are creating fear and hate and manipulation you have to learn to filter to like to, to filter through your thoughts and just be true to yourself and that starts with questioning yourself and you can't really, you know, question yourself until you're willing to admit that you're wrong. To admit you're what? You're wrong. You're wrong. I saw yeah. That. I saw that. And I kind of go along with that. I feel like people wanting to be right a lot of time is almost kind of for of avoiding responsibility. Mm-hmm. Like because I like people believe in so much that oh no I'm right. Like, no, like, no, Jonathan, I'm right, I know I'm right, blah, 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 and it got this huge fight, right? But it just, there, even a lot of times I sort of got, like, I've been to this situation, maybe you have too, maybe some of our audience could relate too, like, I got in a fight for a little bit, you know, for example, in this case, with my friends, got in a fight for a little bit, then realized, oh, shit, I was wrong. But your ego or whatever, just, especially your ego, getting away, you're afraid to admit it, and then just keep getting worse and worse, because your ego is in a way and your ego doesn't want you to take responsibility to admit like hey John I'm, I was wrong like that's it that's all it takes yeah it's crazy it's, we go such a different route you know do all the kind of crazy thing to avoid pain and we thought, you know, we are being smart, we're being, you know, stingy, we're being whatever, you know, like we're, it's for me, blah, 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 but actually, like, no, like, you are, the outcome is gonna come in. It's, it's, it's gonna come, and it's gonna fuck you up yeah. at one point, I promise. Like, when you avoid an issue, you're just creating more problems for yourself it's down the road. Ball. Because... Yeah, like you said, it's just a snowball. It just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and then eventually it's going to fall on you and crush you. And you're going to be like, where'd that come from? And it's all just an accumulation of just choices that you've made in your life. And when you keep choosing to avoid things, you're not fixing anything. So take accountability. Just show up. Um... So earlier we talked about the three when it comes to you know communication. Right now we gotta kinda of go back down. Three, two, one, right? This is like this I just planned out in my head. 
what are the two tips that you give to our audience who have like a happy, fully proof, like awesome, amazing, magnificent relationship? Mm. Just from your standpoint, like tips, tips to, to give them. Two tips, yeah. Well, I mean, from like, your experience, you know, like from what they have that, then uh, yeah. Once they have that, then it sounds like they're doing all right. <laughs> <laughs> But like it's a, like everybody has struggles, right? But from your experience, right? Because we're here to bring value. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you have, if you have that, then great. And all I can say to you is, you know, I always stay open and stay open. listen. Listening is important. Um, admit faults. Uh, take responsibility. Like you're responsible for your half, and they're responsible for their half, and together you make a whole. So don't go throwing your garbage on your partner. Yeah. Don't do that shit. Yeah, like take, clean up your own garbage. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. Like be responsible for yourself. That's the way to do it. Yeah. Personally, Kind of just a little background story since this is episode one. I'm doing this podcast because uh, this girl, I'm not gonna mention her name, she's probably gonna watch this. <laughs> Feel sure that um, she's probably gonna be on this because we're gonna go on this wonderful trip together. I'm so excited. Yeah. New Orleans for New Year's, baby. I'm so excited. Oh man, I'm going to <clears throat> Chicago. <clears throat> all, all those awesome trips, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, but anyway, I met. The universe, my soul manifest, where she just came to my life. It's an awesome, caring, beautiful girl. And yeah, you met her actually. Yeah. Graduation, right? Yeah, She's so be. caring. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, no. we're gonna. No, we're gonna beat that. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Um, <clears throat> yeah, she came to my life. I was happy. We're spending every weekend together, but my insecurity just like starts self sabotaging and. I've been through so much pain. Only that was like two weeks ago, but it was so much pain that triggers me that became my motivation that I'm gonna turn this pain into my fire. They're gonna, you know, take over. They're gonna burn through myself. They're gonna light up some places. They're gonna light up, you know, ideally the whole world. Gonna start with, you know, like. Ten thousand, a hundred thousand people to benefit them, and you know, just kind of breaking up the relationship trap a little bit. You know, one people insecure hurt another people, another people insecure didn't forget the past, go hurt another people. That needs to be end. And me, Jazzy, as a man, as a loving, passionate, unstoppable man. I'm taking initiative. Start from right now, this moment at one a.m. On a Wednesday morning with my dear friend Jonathan, we're here to bring value, to starting making one step at a time to end this bullshit.、Yeah. Because you, me, everybody's watching right now. You deserve to give your best version of yourself, to collaborate, really unify as a team with your partner, and go out there support for each other. Because when two Of you together as a team, love and support each other is much bigger than any of your insecurities, any of your failures, any of your success, any of your, you know, the thing that you're afraid of, the fear. Because two people together is really there's infinite possibilities, and everybody deserves that, and everybody can have it. It just you know sometimes just some bullshit in a way from whatever right you gotta take responsibility on it and make the change and we're here to help you from the podcast to make the change. Yeah, and all it takes is just a little search inside yourself, to figure、really、out you know what what's not working for you. Yeah, as a, as one of our friends, dear friends, she's awesome. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so three, two, one. Um. Let's say the end of the world, no internet, everything you burn, everything you create is is gone, like a fire, the books, like everything you wrote, the notebooks, all gone right now. End of the world, you have a p, you have a pen and paper, and it's your legacy. What you gonna? What is your legacy? 
to deliver to the rest of this world, to the you know the first hundred thousand people that watch this video, and in the future, like millions of millions watch it like this in this moment, right now. <coughs> That's tough, all right? Yeah. Yeah, otherwise we wouldn't be here. If, I had to create, if we knew I had to create a legacy on the spot, I would have... <laughs> or just a legacy or just lesson, right? Something so important you have to... Oh my god, I have to fucking write on this paper for the rest of this world to know this. What would it be? Uh, just live in love. I mean... <laughs> live in love, exactly. She gets it. She gets it? You can't see her, one but she of gets our, it. Um, one of um, how do you say it? support system, family. Yeah, that 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 was. Yeah. But, but live yeah, in love. Just you know. A little more. Uh, okay. Yeah, just, I mean, just live in love. I mean, we all have a choice every day in every situation, and we can choose the choice of fear, or we can choose the choice of love. And yeah. you know, so what are you choosing? Are you choosing the easy way? Or are you going to choose you know, love? Because that's, it's, it really is as simple as that. There are only two options in every single decision that you have to make. Is this decision based in love or is it based in fear? And that's the key. Yeah. That's so yeah. Uh oh, more angels coming out, more support system. That's awesome. And uh, so there's that. I think I might have one more. Um, let me think about it for a second, but why don't you go ahead and tell us where can we follow you, where can we support you? If you guys have some GoFundMe, some cool ass project, which I know you and I all go some. You know, this thing we, you know, this wonderful journey, this literally legacy team we want to get on, you know, just tell us a little about that, you know, we can follow you, we can support you. Yeah, okay, so, um, my name is John Pfeiffer, and you can follow me on Instagram. Um, I'm going to be starting a YouTube channel very soon here. Make sure to subscribe. Yeah, I'm, I want to see Yeah, yeah, I'm going to have you on. Yeah. I love Jazzy on him because he's awesome. And uh, I don't really use Twitter. Probably should. But yeah, Instagram and YouTube. Those are, those are places. Wonderful. And um, I'm sure they'll put like a link or yeah, something. Absolutely. Wherever you want. Wherever you want. Just on our, on our, on our faces. Sure. Oh, what's your YouTube channel going to be about? I'm so excited. So my YouTube channel. Oh, we're just just is, talking about this. Just literally this fresh. You guys yeah. are so lucky. You're like on yeah. the ground level. Yeah. Uh, put it up six times. Yeah. You know, so, but it's gonna be yeah. as fucking tall, steady as Empire State. Yes, yeah, that's right. Because we're serious about this. Yeah. We're serious yeah. about bringing value to you. Yeah. Not about us. So yeah. what we're so what my channel is gonna be about is inspiring people to care about things. Yeah. And chase their passion because ultimately what you spend all your time doing every day is what you care about. It's who you become too. Yeah, it's who you become. So my channel is going to be based solely around asking or like inspiring people to care about things because you can say you care about things all you want. You can say you care about changing the world, making the world a better place, but when it comes down to it, what are you doing to make that happen and how much time and energy are you pouring into it to make that happen because you know words without action are meaningless you have to act and so whatever you act on and whatever you commit your time to doing every day is what you care about and so if you want to change the world then you have to get out there and do it like maniac on what on a mission exactly Maniac on a mission. Absolutely. It just, it just it's so, it's, so, it's quite interesting to say. And when we really think about it, Maniac, you just got, you got to be laser focused. You got to be urgent. And you're so obsessed with your goal. And on the mission, it's like not only for yourself. Because a lot of times, for, personally for me, when I'm thinking about doing something for myself, I just get lazy. I'm back to my old pattern. Yeah. And when I think about, okay, I'm not here for me. 
it's for my loved one, for my family, for you know, for the other people in this world that been through some like horrible breakup and then you know like they're so regret about this that they hurt other people. It's about you guys. Yeah. And that's when it gets me going. That's what got us get us going at 1 30 a.m. in the morning. But anyway, wrapping this up, last question. Any question you want to ask, ask our audience. Anything you want to get a thing to ask, you know? Or anything you want to test it out for your YouTube channel? And um, anything. Yeah, I guess, I guess the question I have for you is, what do you care about? Leave a comment. Let me know. Yeah. And uh, let's talk about it. Nice. Well, wonderful. Such an honor to have you. Yeah, likewise, it's an honor to be here. Absolutely. It's, yeah. it's great. It's such an awesome conversation that had the camera in front of us and looking at this. That's yeah. cool. All right, brother. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that so, so. It's gonna be lots of hugs. Yeah, absolutely. Hugs every single episode. Channel. Every single episode. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for your time. It's been a pleasure. Me and John were extremely happy to support you and help you when it comes to leadership, relationship, caring about other people, care about the world, care about your dreams in any way. And don't be afraid to comment, subscribe, share this with your loved ones, and. To reach out to us, anything you know, we're here to help. So, peace and live with passion, love.